when I saw that arrogant little, that no good lion. Oh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right up his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril left Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? <laughs> the flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case, and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk, or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. to be done about those Cooper characters. I don't like them skulking around my town. Or my mind. I better not hear about nothing going wrong with the plan. Better not. Oh, boy, you got a funny look. Got something to say, huh? Something happened up at the mine? No? Good, because our old referee's partner, he don't take kindly to mistakes. And right now, we still need his help. Thanks to the Bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. 
We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling. But first, we're going to have to catch it. And we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key tracks which is we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wild Man is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Weighing in a little more every minute, you're howling hard, the Coyote!
nobody sucker punches the Murray! No! No, Brad Marsky! Problem because you know. Don't say it! That's how I roll. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Fly. You better get moving. <laughs> oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. We're in a time crunch here, Fly! Faster, Fly! Time to show these folks some real speed. Ugh, even my tail is tired. <laughs> you can do this, pal! Better keep an eye out for that jackalope. Fly, buddy, out! This definitely reminds me why I prefer the pockets. You better get on the ball, Sly! <laughs> Come on, Sly! Get your back into it! <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? Concentrate it just a little further! Just keep the ball spinning, Sly. Come on! You've almost got this race one! can't be here to shoot, cause there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose... You gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Ay, this guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carmelita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> helps if I pick your slice face on the targets. Just have to keep my focus. Don't call me top shot at Interpol for nothing. This guy's in for an unpleasant surprise. I need to wipe the grin off this clown's face. Show this big jerk how to shoot. This is gonna be easy. The only thing this creep will be missing is that trophy. What the? Well, this ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key.
boys. I know I've heard out my lungs at you all about this already. But some of you ain't uh, heard it rightly, cause your lingo is uh, still stale as month old cornbread. Shoot, the way you talks now ain't worth a plug nickel. Ah, it sticks in my craw. Ouch, like I swallowed a horny toad backwards. Ooh, that must hurt. front everyone the clock is ticking on this one so we don't have time to monkey around toothpicks gold trade is already rolling and with the incorporation of our van it's virtually impossible to stop thankfully tennessee was able to divert the train's route which gives us the chance we need to catch it first murray you're going to get the van back it's positioned near the rear of the train acting not unlike a booster rocket it's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out!
Arena, we need to get to that turn. Give you bad directions. Level one. 